Do you ever have those days where you just feel like, blah, I know I do. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna share 10 instant, simple ways to look put together when you feel blah. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to share these really simple, really quick tips to help you look more polished, elevated, but in an effortless, easy way that really fits into your active lifestyles. Cause you know, if there's a lot of effort involved, let's face it, most of us aren't gonna do it, myself included. You need things that are simple, that will work for your busy, active lifestyles. So that's what this video focuses on, those quick, fashion fix-its. Tip number one is to add some glamorous jewelry. Before I go into a full explanation of all of my jewels, I wanted to say thank you to Monica Vinader for sponsoring this video. And I am featuring Monica Vinader pieces. For those of you who are regular viewers, you know I'm a huge fan of Monica Vinader. I have talked about the brand quite a bit here on YouTube, also on the blog, also on Instagram, uh, quite a bit. There are a few reasons why I really love their pieces besides being very feminine. They're also very modern. They have a design element that I think makes them pop or makes them a little bit more special. I also think they're wearable for every single day. So they effortlessly and seamlessly fit into your wardrobe, but they add that pop that you're looking for, that thing that we're talking about here in this video, which is to kind of take that outfit from like drab to fab in like a hot second. Okay, so let me show you some of the pieces that I have on that I think are just exquisite. And by the way, really exciting, Monica Vinader is going to give you guys 20% off of anything you order. So if you go to any of the links in the description box for the Monica Vinader pieces, you automatically get 20% off. So thank you, Monica Vinader, for that discount. It's a really good one. Take advantage for sure. Their pieces are all 100% recycled silver and gold vermeil. By the way, I used to say Vermeil. I thought that was the way it was pronounced. Apparently it's Vermeil, according to the brand. So Vermeil. All of the pieces are gold-plated Vermeil. The gold Vermeil means that your pieces are made with real gold. They are not going to tarnish. They look very luxurious. They look a lot more expensive than they are, but because it's just plated, then they're able to sell the pieces at a more affordable price. I really love this kind of happy medium. It's an accessible price, but it's still very luxurious and high quality that will last and last for years to come and stand the test of time. First, let's discuss the necklaces because these are both so interesting and beautiful. So the first one is the Ulta Charm Necklace. This one is adjustable. I've adjusted it so it's quite short. It, it will go down to about right here. On a woman's body, the sort of sweet spot for a necklace to hang is right here. Somewhere between your collarbone and above the bust line is that sweet zone. That's where you want your necklaces to fall. So you can see like this one lines up with the collarbone and then this one is just above the bust. So this one is beautiful. You could add pendants to it if you wanted to. This one is another necklace that I've had for a while now, and this one I added some charms to that I'll talk about in a second, but this one is called the Ulta Textured Chain Necklace. And I love that these two are different thicknesses. I feel like this one you totally could wear on its own, 100%. So you can turn this one around and wear it as a lariat too, which is really pretty. And you also obviously can wear this one totally by itself as well. So on this one I have three charms currently. One is the Riva Kite Diamond Pendant Charm. This one has little tiny diamonds around it. I have a ring that matches this one. I just don't have it on right now. This one is the Doina, Doina, I hope I'm saying that right, pendant. And then the other one is a little tiny bee with diamonds. And this is one that my team bought for me that I really treasure and wear every day. So you can buy these separately. You can add them to this necklace. You can add them to earrings. You can add them to bracelets. So I love how they're all like mix. You can mix and match the pieces. And I, you know, I got these at separate times and I'm now layering them and wearing them together. But you can see how they really add, like the jewelry adds a complete pop to my look. So even if I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans, just wearing this jewelry is going to add so much glamor to the look. Here's another example. This is a gorgeous cocktail ring. It's called the square facet cocktail ring. I love this so much. I love a cocktail ring, always have. But you wanna talk about adding a little glamour to your, especially to your hands. I like to talk with my hands, so I love when I have, you know, some jewelry to show off. And then here are a couple of other rings. I stack them together. One is the Doina cross ring. 
and the other is the Riva Diamond Wave Stacking Ring. So you can obviously wear either one of these solo or you wear them together, but it's just they're just really beautiful pieces and they add so much, I think. And then check out this bracelet. It's absolutely stunning and this looks like it could be Cartier or something. It's just absolutely beautiful and it just falls really nicely on the wrist. It's very comfortable on the wrist. It's not too heavy. It's very lightweight. It's very silky. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. A couple of other things I wanted to show you. These earrings, which aren't they so pretty with this jacket. I love the green. These are really beautiful. Also the gold 18 karat gold plated vermeil. These are called the Siren Wire Earrings. We'll put prices to everything below in the description box, but again, remember if you order any of these pieces, you get 20% off. So if you're like, I don't know what to get so-and-so for Christmas or for Hanukkah or whatever, this is the perfect opportunity to scoop up something really wonderful for less. I also have these. These are the Disco Large Hoop Earrings that I love. They're very versatile, again, wearable for every single day, but add that pop. And these I've had for a while too. They're hoop earrings as well, but with a slightly different shape and texture. And then you can add pendants to these earrings. So I often wear them with the pearl pendant, which you may have seen in some of my Marrakesh photos. I wore these a lot with um, some dressier dresses. Along the same lines of glamorous jewelry is a bold belt. And it doesn't have to be one that's super thick. I know for many of us, myself included, it's really hard if you don't have a long torso to wear one big, thick, heavy belt. So just thinking about a belt that has some pop and some punch. And you know, one of my go-tos you guys have seen a thousand times is this one by Valentino that's reversible. I buy it in a bigger size so that I can wear it around the waist and then also at the hips. If you are gonna go the route of the logo belt, I know some people are saying they're out or whatever, but logo mania is still going very strong. You may just wanna go for something a little bit different, like maybe you do the Hermes or the Valentino or the Fendi or something other than the Gucci, which became kind of a phenom, and that's a way to kind of feel fresh and new. Here's another example I wanted to show you guys that I found here in Spain. This is by an Italian designer called Elisabetta Franchi. I'm obsessed with their piece, her pieces. This belt is no exception. I love how it has the little pouch that hooks onto this loop. I love the plate in the middle. I love the thickness of the belt. It's not too thick. I love how it's adjustable. So again, I can wear it as a hipster or a waist belt. And it's just really bad ASS, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're like, ah, I just am not feeling it today. I mean, I just, I've just, i got a thousand things to do. I'm tired, ah, you know, the usual. And let's be real. I mean, I'd say, I don't know, two out of seven mornings, I probably feel like that. So it is quite frequent. So it's nice to have these, these style tools in your toolbox to pull out in a pinch. So when you are feeling that little bit of blah, this gives you something to make it pop to make it feel elevated. And then what can happen is these little tweaks can actually elevate your mood and help you fake it till you make it. I think that's really important, right? Because when you are feeling a little bit down or blah, or just not excited to get up and go, I think sometimes when you put the right things on, that can change your whole mood. It can change everything. You can walk, you, you do your hair in a nice way and your makeup and, your, and you put on that one piece, bam. You know, your whole day can change. The whole outlook can change. It's easy to kind of dismiss things like this, but I think it is important to have these little tweaks that you can make quickly, especially as busy women, because we don't have a lot of time and these are great, great tools. The next piece that is definitely an instant game changer are sunglasses. Like with sunglasses, you can hide a lot of things. You can hide that you're tired, you can hide that you're sad, you can hide that you're depressed, you can hide your age, you can hide, you can hide that you're staring at somebody. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can hide behind those glasses. And also it adds this real pop to your look and a lot of impact, especially when you go for something unique, a color or oversized. I do love an oversized sunglass, a uh, pair of sunglasses. I do love a white retro pair of sunglasses. I do love, I mean, a lot of sunglasses, but I, I think that it's one of those accessories that we often overlook, but does give you that instant pop and polish. Okay, we covered accessories. Now I wanna talk about clothes and we'll get to beauty at the end. So be sure to stick around all the way to the end so we can go through the beauty tips too. With clothes, this is something that 
is speaking to me right now especially and that is bold colors. I think bold colors are very on trend right now. You guys know if you watched all of my fall fashion trend videos, what's going on with fashion trends, which I do think is important to know. It's another like tool in your toolbox, so to speak. But bold colors are definitely very on trend. They can also pull double duty of elevating your look and also creating a pop and polish that you want, creating that impact, that instant impact that you want to elevate everything. Not only elevate your look, but elevate your mood. This is a classic color that I love, this green, this green jacket. Well, actually, I pretty much love any shade of green. Red is another big color. Royal blue is another big color that's, that's hot right now, and one that I happen to love, yellow. There's neons, there's all kinds of pinks, purples. I mean, there are so many beautiful, color pops right now and then even color blocking so play around with color on those days when you're just not feeling quite right and you want to add some pizzazz to your look this next one may seem obvious but it is like literally your secret weapon and that is to take a tailored piece and add it to your look. The tailored piece could be a blazer, it could be a jacket, it could be a coat. An example that I have is my Bellman blazer which by the way I a button fell off so I have to sew that back on. But this jacket is exquisite, it's beautiful, and it's very tailored. So even if I put on a camisole or a t-shirt and jeans and I add that jacket to it, boom, I can do anything that day. It just everything changes. It's a game-changing piece. Same with a coat. I am obsessed right now. It's, I told you this line, Elisabetta Franchi. I just, I really love the way Italian sounds. I love Spanish too, but Italian. Ah. There's a military coat by this brand that I've been eyeballing. It's so impractical for me in Colorado, but I just keep looking at it going, should I buy it? Should I buy it? Should I buy it? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so tailored. So if you put a coat like that on with a t-shirt, cami, light sweater, whatever, doesn't matter what you're wearing. Doesn't even matter if you did your hair and makeup, like that says it all, like <laughs> that one piece. You know, same with like my Sandro trench, right? It's tailored through the shoulders and, and most of the body. So that just adds such a pop, right? So anything beautifully tailored is going to elevate your total look and take you from drab to absolute fab, okay? So definitely keep that in your back pocket. That is your secret style weapon. Get one beautifully tailored piece that you can always throw on no matter what kind of day you're having to take your look way up. I can't whistle anymore. There we go, way up. <laughs> Along the same lines as the tailored layer is the matching set. So you can always do a one and done and one and dones are easy like jumpsuits and dresses, but the matching set is very similar to a one and done piece. And it packs a lot of punch, but gives you the you know, flexibility to mix and match, which I really love. So you have that look of something that's really cohesive and all in one, but you have the functionality of a couple of pieces and separating those and wearing them with other pieces. An example might be this set by Eero. It's a skirt and a top. Both are printed and both are beautiful. I could wear them separately, I could wear them together. Either way I do it, it would add so much impact to my look. But I think on those days when you're feeling blah and you're not really sure what to wear and it can be very daunting in the morning, especially if you're in a hurry and you don't feel great and you don't feel inspired and you don't know how you wanna look or feel that day, to have a matching set or two in your closet really is so helpful. It's like the, the dummy proof outfit that you can always reach for. So I highly recommend having one, you know, not just for that fail safe functionality, but also because of the fact that they are separates and you can really stretch the use out of them and wear them separately as well. Other matching sets that I have are actually the jacket and the skirt that matches this jacket. Here I also have an Eero set, a metallic top and shorts, but that's dressier, it's more like for holiday. I think it's just something you should consider having in your closet is that matching set. It just, like, life can be really tricky and tough and overwhelming, and so take the guesswork out with the style. Like, make it as simple as possible for yourself, and then that way, each and every day, you're able to really put your best foot forward in the style department and feel like a million dollars because it's not going to take this Herculean effort to get there, you know? You just have the one piece or the one set or the one piece of jewelry, you know? Keep it simple and it will be transformative, truly. The next way you can elevate your look and look anything but blah 
is to add leather. Leather anything, really. <laughs> like leather pants, leather skirt, leather jacket, leather blazer, anything leather. All right, let me give you some examples. Here's an example of a pair of really chic paper bag waist pants that are faux leather. These are so chic and cool. I'm literally pairing them with a t-shirt, but everything looks really together and polished because of the pants. Here's another example. I'm wearing a leather jacket with a very simple top and a skirt, printed skirt. The leather jacket makes it special, makes it edgy, makes it cool, makes it feel modern. Another example, leather blazer. This one I featured a bunch two years ago, I think. Just jeans and a top, bam. Leather blazer totally elevates the look. And then last but not least, I wanna talk about this leather skirt. This skirt is by Eero. There's something about the Eero skirts that just fit me like a glove. And I've talked about this before, but if you find a designer that really works for you, you should stick with that designer. I know Eero dresses and skirts just fit me beautifully. So I always check what does Eero have, what does Eero have, what does Eero have, because they fit so wonderfully on my body. With this skirt, by the way, it's the same metallic top that I showed you with the short sets, and you can see how you can wear them as separates, which is so nice. Next up, let's talk about beauty, because these, I mean, talk about quick fixes. Beauty is the quickest of the quick, right? Super fast. Unless you wanna do a matte red lipstick, then you gotta take a little more time. But I wanna talk about the power of the bold lip. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but since I've been living here in Spain, I've been rocking the bold lip everywhere I go. I think it's a combination of being inspired by the color in Spain, but then also just on the heels of COVID and quarantine and having masks on all the time. I'm just like, I'm wearing the red lip, you know? Just doing it, I'm going for it. My absolute favorite red lipstick is this one. It's a Sephora lip stain and it's called Always Red. And the reason I love this so much is because once you get it exactly where you want it on your lips, it does not move. And I mean, you can drink, you can eat and it doesn't bleed, it doesn't whisker, it's perfect. And so I also love this one in pink. And what is it called? Elizabeth, I might need you to read the bottom of this. Neither me or the nine, nor the nine-year-old can read the bottom of this lipstick. So we'll, we'll dig up the color and we'll put it in a link below in the description box. But this is what I'm rotating between this and this and this and this. And some of you are like, what's that lipstick color? It's this or this, all right? And sometimes I put this or this and then I layer a Charlotte Tilbury over it. But I don't have that many lipsticks with me here in Spain. So it's, it's either one of these two or Charlotte Tilbury, the one I have on right now. That's it. So the lipstick will add that in instant wow and that pop. And then of course, you know, if you're wearing a mask, it's gonna take away from your lipstick. But I think most of us now, when we're out and about, are not wearing masks. And then when you go to your destination, when you get to the table, you take your mask off. So it's really nice to have that bold lip and it feels really good after all this time of wearing masks. Another one I love on the beauty front you know, if I'm in a hurry and I'm just feeling a little bit blah, that I feel like is a must have for beauty is a cheek highlighter. These are again, like your secret beauty weapon. Bam, bam, you know, it's like, boom, boom. It's like, I love the blinding shine. So this is um, an old Becca highlighter. I don't even think it's available anymore. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but we'll put another one below that's similar for you guys to check out. But a cheek highlighter, just feel like, especially as you're getting a little bit older and your skin color, your skin is a little bit duller and drier. I feel like just that cheek highlight can really add that glowy luminosity that we all want any day of the week, right? We want that glow. Last but not least, magnetic lashes. So I tried these for the first time like last year, I think. Has it been that long? Yes, it has. Wow, time flies. So I got the ones that just add the corner lash. It's not the whole full strip, it's just the corner. I find that compared to the glue, the magnetic lashes are 10, thousand times easier and faster. So if you are like me and you have gone through the glue lashes and tried them most of your life and always felt like, ew, I don't like doing this. I screw it up every time. It gets in my eye and stings. It's annoying. It adds globs of goo to the top of my lash. Try the magnetic lashes. I can do it, like I'm getting so much better at it now. Do you guys remember Lashgate? <laughs> Who remembers Lashgate when the lashes were like, all the way at the end of the lash and they were like flying at you. <laughs> lash gate, I love it. But yeah, so they're so easy for me now. Like I can really like boop, 
just get them in there and, and usually they look pretty good. Like today I did a pretty good job and it's not the full strip. So I feel like it's a lot more natural and normal, especially here. Like women don't do the whole, like, whoosh, you know, all the stuff. Like even this hair here is a little much, to be honest. So like even this is a little much. They're much more understated and natural. I feel like if you want just a pop and really to feel a bit more special, this is a very simple, quick, easy way to do it. Once you get the hang of the magnetic lash, it's gonna take you a little time to get the hang of it, but I promise you, listen, if I can get the hang of it, you can get the hang of it. It's not difficult. The bottom line is I don't want you guys to walk out your door just in survival mode, feeling blah, feeling tired, feeling like you're just gonna get through the day or thinking about how many hours you have until you get home and can lie down or whatever. I want you to feel amazing each and every day that you walk out the door. I think that these simple tweaks can really help you do that. You do the simple tweaks to your appearance and then I think the rest of you can catch up and you can have an amazing day and conquer anything that comes your way. I feel just so much better when I walk out the door and like, I, my hair looks pretty and my makeup looks good and I've got a great outfit on and I've got the, the Elisabetta Fran Franchi belt and the, the Monica Vinader jewelry, you know, it's just, it all adds that pop and it helps you to overcome the blah and the I'm just in survival mode today because life is tough right now. I just don't want you to feel that way. I want you to do everything that you can, all those little things that you can to really feel amazing each and every day. Hopefully these tips were helpful. Let us know if you have any questions. Huge thank you again to Monica Vinder for sponsoring this video and as always for creating exquisite, beautiful jewelry. Don't forget to take advantage of their 20% off code, especially for the holiday gifts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Love this community. You're all amazing and you deserve it. I'll see you next time. Bye.